I have chosen a chromatography system as an example for this presentation. Liquid chromatography in particular is widely used in pharmaceutical laboratories and such systems and the data generated on them are frequently the subject of FDA inspections. I will briefly describe the workflow in chromatography using a server-based chromatography data system as an example. I will explain what type of data have to be saved, which includes raw data, final result and metadata. I will also discuss specific situations associated with spectral detectors and I will close this section with some recommendations. Here is a simplified diagram of a typical chromatography system. It shows three basic blocks. The first block represents the measurement instrument. This could be a gas chromatograph, a liquid chromatograph or an LCMS. Typically, the instruments are controlled by a computer shown in block 2. The computer acquires and processes data, such as measuring peak area and calculating quantitative amounts. The data may then be transferred to a server shown in block 3 for archiving and for data management. There are many types of possible variations. For example, you may have more than one instrument connected to the computer, you may have more than one person working on the computer, and you will certainly have more than one system connected to the network. For reprocessing, the data is transferred back to the chromatography PC and after reprocessing, the data is transferred to the server again. The PC is usually the location where data is saved for the first time on a durable storage device, typically on the PC's hard disk. When discussing records, it is important to understand which type of data we are dealing with. In analytical measurement, we have typically three types of data. Original or raw data, process data and metadata. Let's discuss raw data first. When we began compliance workshops several years ago, there was always a question, what is chromatographic raw data? I was a member of a task force for a regulatory agency where this question was discussed. The recommendation was that the user can decide. Raw data could be either original data captured on the computer or the first computer printout. So you could have raw data on paper. With part 11 this has changed. Raw data is created when saved for the first time on a durable storage device. In chromatography these are usually area slices as calculated from predefined time slices and intensity of the signal. From this raw data the software calculates peak areas and amounts, the so-called processed data. The parameters used for calculating the processed data from the raw data are called metadata. In chromatography these are mainly integration parameters and calibration factors. Let's look at another application in chromatography spectral detectors, for example, UV vista ray detectors and mass spectrometers in HPLC at a third dimension of wavelengths or mass to runtime and signal intensity. Spectra are acquired during the run and used to confirm a compound's identity and to check a peak's purity. The problem is a huge amount of data that can be generated. Whereas storage capacity is not that much of a problem, we need to be more creative when it comes to handling of all this data in a database. If we have a long chromatogram, let's say one hour with a few peaks, it does not make any sense to store all spectra during the entire run. We just need the spectra during a peak solution. With appropriate DAD firmware, we can do just this. All spectra are intermediately stored in the detector's volatile memory. But only the ones acquired during a peak's illusion are permanently saved on the computer. We see the immediate benefit when we look at the storage capacity for these examples. We need 14 megabytes for this single run when we store all spectra through the entire run. We only need 400 kilobytes when we acquire spectra only during a peak's illusion. 
This requires a peak detector in the firmware of the die ray detector and not as part of the computer software. I would recommend that you look at the definition of your raw data. Computer printouts are not accepted as an accurate and complete copy, so this is not an option. You also may define metadata in your system. Metadata must be archived together with the raw data. In chromatography, these are mainly integration parameters and calibration factors. For spectral detectors, you can save a lot of disk space and database capacity by predefining signals and spectral acquisition parameters.